guys, it's Holly here for PlayStation Access. I found this massive corridor in the back of E3, and inside of it was Lorne Lanning. Oh, spooky. Hi, Holly. Uh, Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you so much. Now, yeah. let's start with talking about the success of New and Tasty, which came to PlayStation 4. What was that like, having a new generation, like fans that didn't grow up playing Abe, yeah. play it for the first time? What was that like? Uh, it's terrifying, you know, <laughs> because it really is like, you know, we designed this game, we released this 17 yeah. years ago. Mm. And, uh, and so we had a lot of parents saying, oh, I want my kids to play it, you know, or I played it with Abe. Yeah, but the kids are seeing the old version. So we, we're going through and we're like, okay, how do we do this? Uh, how do we do it smart? How do we do, we, we're facing the audience and the audience is saying, Make it, remake that game, just that but don't change anything. Yeah, remake it, but I want it exactly the same. Yeah, right, and you're okay. like, well, then why should we well, then why remake are we remaking it? Yeah. it? So, uh, but the point was, they, they didn't want a certain nostalgia lost, and that was yeah. very clear. So it's we a magic, said, right? Well, thank you. It's, yeah. it, 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 uh, it's good feelings that you remember. It's like um, a smell that you recognize. It brings back good memories of home cooking. Right. Old, an old nostalgic game. For me, that's pre-mixed pre gasoline for motocross <laughs> bikes. When I smell it... <laughs> I'm like, Lord I'm alive, I'm alive, yeah, yeah, it's pretty sad, but that's true. Uh, what about then, what's next for Abe? Like, uh, we're going to see uh, Exodus, maybe? Well, you know, we're in the planning stages. Okay. So we've announced we're in the planning stages. <laughs> and uh, the idea being, I mean, really what we're doing, and, and this is just the blatant truth of it, is we're trying to figure out how to get back to us self-financing new IP. And that means new lots, IP. lots of money, you know, new characters, that's new really stories, new, new, new all of that. And we're trying to figure that out. And, uh, and we're getting better, and we're getting yep. closer, and we're getting closer, but let's face it, it's not, that's millions of dollars to do that. Especially and so, if you want to fulfill a real dream, I mean. Yeah, well, we think <laughs> the change. audience is saying, okay, if it's Oddworld, we have a certain expectation. Yeah. We're like, if we're building brand new stuff for Oddworld, that expectation is not an indie budget. Yeah, no, it's. Right, but we want an indie be there. Yeah. And so we, we like that. The control, uh, the feeling, the, the yeah. small teams and the passion that you get, right, from being in charge of your own dreams. Yeah, instead of yeah, 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 exactly. It's nice and, you know, and uh, you, you're a little bit more master of your own destiny there. So in Exodus, we're looking at this is what we did with Odyssey was yep. we, we, we reinvigorated the, yes. the, a classic and then we tried our best to squeeze as much more entertainment value and quality gameplay and challenge uh, threshold yep. you know, and, and tolerances as much as we yep. could and not lose the feeling of the classic. Yeah, what it is. Yeah. And so that's our goal with Exodus. And then like we did with Odyssey, you know, there's lots of, with, in New and Tasty, yep. there's lots of new, new surprises. Like if you remember... Abe's Exodus had multiple Mudokans following, you know, yeah. and Odyssey didn't, but we brought it to New and Tasty right out of the gate. So we hope to do more things like that where there's opportunities that we could play with ideas, play with things we wanted to originally do. We've learned from several games since then, you know, we built Munch, we built Stranger, uh, we built games that didn't, get, we started building games that we never uh, uh, completed. The vault of kind of game ideas that yeah, never quite couple. made there's a couple. Question. But they're all odd world, so it all helped, whether or not they released, it helped us to understand our own planet's history, our own yeah. planet's backstory way deeper. There's a lot of richer material to dive into, and that's what we hope to do. So when, in planning for Exodus, we're like, okay, how do we do what we did with New and Tasty, and how do we add some special stuff to it as well? Uh, we don't have dates yet. We're not. We're not fully in the trench on it yet. We're planning. We're planning. And then uh, we're also uh, constantly looking at how do we do Oddworld better when we get to new stuff, when we get to new material, and hopefully that comes sooner than later. You know, uh, we, we absolutely, yeah, hopefully, because it all depends on the audience, yeah, right? Exactly. They have to like it. They have to support us. They have to buy the games. Yeah. That's what's funding us today. Exactly. So we really are sort of crowdfunded, except we do it after we sell the product. Yeah. You know, like business the old like way. Business, like business yeah, the old way. What's the old that? Way. Yeah, exactly. But what is that like for you when you do come out here and there are things like Kickstarter and you see big projects like Shenmue, which is massive, mm -hmm. but then we have smaller projects like the ukulele team yeah. have been extremely successful. They closed their Kickstarter yeah. yesterday. They asked like. 100,000, they closed on like 3 million. Did they really? Yes. Do you look at things like that and think maybe that's the future for Abe's, or just even for the team? It, how can we not? I mean, it's not there. I mean, it, right? how it's can helping we not? people do the same thing, yeah. right? Banjo Kazoo, they wanted to bring it yeah. back, but do something different. So the you. thing for us is we didn't want to go out there and say, um, you know, give us $400,000 and hope that we get 2.5 yeah. to 3 million. Right? And what happens if we get 1.75? Now we can't do it, but we've told people but we could. Gonna yeah. So we want to be honest. We want to say, you know what? Here's what we've figured out something's going to cost. But yeah. So by the time we get to that platform where we're engaging crowdfunding and... You want to uh, feel ready. 
we, we want to be straight about it. We don't want to say, oh, let us go out there cheap and hope we win big. We, when we do it, we want to say, this is how we want to do it. This is what you're paying for. This is our track record. This is who we are. And you know what? We're probably going to be asking for more than normal. Now, maybe that's a, a just a hanging ourselves by the neck, but uh, we still have a lot of decisions to make before yeah. we get to that point. Certainly, it's one of the most attractive options available today. And I think one of the great things about it is if you do it well, now, someone did it well. Chris Roberts did it really well. Plenty of people have done it right. real well. Yeah. And uh, we were talking like that was exceptionally well. I think he's yeah. over 90 million now. Jeez. You know? Yeah. So. Triple A titles don't have budgets like that. Yeah. Well, some do, you know. Uh, but some we, do, but no but indies own them. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but what about so, things like new technology? Because uh, it's been mentioned that you're interested in things like virtual reality, potentially things like Project Morpheus. Yeah. Did you, as a designer and a man that has created an incredible game like Abe, sit there Thank and think, you. God, you know, would Abe's ever go to Morpheus? And if so, how would you do 2D? It, it, it's a good, it's a good question, right? But I think, I think the 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 really smart way to approach VR yeah. is to think of what is necessary for VR first, and then birth yeah. out of that. Trying to reverse engineer existing yep. uh, properties into VR is not necessarily the smartest way. So I think there's room. There's a lot of things we'll be seeing. Uh, VR, anyone who, um, it's not fair for the audience today because they're hearing us say a lot about it, but the majority of the audience has never seen the things we've seen. They've seen it's silly so people tough. looking like this. It's an experience and then, you have to have yourself to you, really appreciate and understand it. Right? Otherwise, yeah, it's just some, some, yeah. It's me looking like a bit of an yeah. idiot on camera. <laughs> exactly, right? So when that happens, uh, and when you actually experience it as you have, you go, wow, yeah. game changer. So as a serious designer, you can't look at that and say, nah, I'm not interested. Yeah. Right? You go, wow, what can we do with what it? What can we do with it? But as an indie, we go, when is the install base going to be there? When are these things going to happen? And you have to be really careful about how you spend your money. And if you miss, if you, you know, all we got to do is whiff, miss, you know, a few strikes and then we're out, you know, because yeah. our pockets are just not that deep. And then we're back on the begging train. <laughs> back so, on the Kickstarter. <laughs> yeah. So all of those things are options. Uh, we're exploring them all. We're looking at them. Um, we think we'd be in uh, pretty positive shape. If we engage it, we just want to make sure we have the right story, the right content, the right fit at the right time, that that's what the audience wants and the time's right for us to do it. So Amazing. that's our plan. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Well, My you pleasure. guys, if you haven't checked out Aves yet, I'd pick up New and Tasty on PS4. It's coming soon to PlayStation Vita and maybe one day Exodus in the future. Planning. <laughs> Pl we're planning. <laughs> no. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and you can stay tuned to the YouTube channel because there's loads more coming up.